Hey everyone, it's Zinnia here. Today I wanted to show you how to make a room designer game in Scratch. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to make your own project like this one with your own background and your own items and your own styles. Let's get started. So I'm gonna break this into four steps. Step one will be make objects that the player can click on and design. Step two will be make it possible to move them around and rotate them. Step three will be change the background. And step four will be getting it ready to publish. So let's start with step one, making some furniture. Now, there aren't a lot of furniture sprites in the Scratch sprite library. So I'll show you a really easy way of drawing furniture, but also if you don't feel like drawing, you can always use the sprites that I draw. I'll include a link to them below. So to draw our first item, maybe we'll draw a bed. Uh, you can hover over, choose a sprite and click paint. And to draw a bed, I'll just click on the rectangle tool and draw three rectangles to be the frame of the bed. I can uh, click on them and click here to change the color to maybe something brown to be wood. And to create the mattress, I can set the color to white and draw out a white rectangle. I can also make a blanket on top by making a rectangle. Maybe I'll color it like sort of a reddish pink. And yeah, there you go. Now you have a bed. And let's make it so that when the player clicks on the bed, they can design the bed in the room they're making. So let's duplicate this costume and draw a new design for the bed. Maybe for this one, I'll just give it a blue blanket. So there you go. Now we have two options for the bed. And to make it so that the player can switch between them, you can click on the code tab to add some code for this bed. And in the looks category, the next costume block will let you switch between them. And if you go to the events category and get the when this sprite clicked block and put it on top, now that happens every time the bed is clicked so the player can change the appearance of it. And with this simple drawing method, you could draw any kind of object you'd like. You could make a table out of rectangles or same with chairs, or you could make a flower pot and use the circle tool to make some petals, or you could make a bedside table with rectangles and you could maybe edit the points of the lamp a little bit. Um, and maybe I'll draw a rug with just two ovals of slightly different colors. Now for step two, let's make it possible to drag objects around and rotate them. Normally in Scratch, if you're on the project page playing a game, you can't drag around the sprites in it. You have to be in the editor to do that. But there's a way that you can make the players be able to drag the sprites around even while they're playing the game. And that is by going to the sensing category and there's this block that says set drag mode draggable and if you have a sprite do this block now it can be dragged even by the player who's playing the game so if i say when green flag clicked set drag mode to draggable now the player can move the rug around even while they're playing the game and you can give this same code to any piece of furniture that you want the player to be able to move around now, to make it possible for the player to rotate the rug, we can get the block turn 15 degrees and click on that. That will make the rug turn. And we can make that happen when the sprite is clicked on. And to make it always go behind the other sprites so it looks like it's on the floor, we can say forever go to back layer and have that start when the green flag is clicked. Now, for step three, let me show you how to change the background. So you can click on the stage and click on the backdrops tab. Now, I created this background by just drawing two rectangles, one that's a brown and one that's a light yellow. So you can just do that same thing and maybe change the wall color and the floor color and design a couple of different backgrounds for your room. And you could totally add more detail if you wanted to, like you could use rectangles to draw posters on the walls or really whatever you would like. And now that we've designed a few backgrounds, let's make it so that the player can change the backdrop of the room by clicking on the background. So let's go back to the code tab. And in the looks category, there's this block, next backdrop, which will switch between them. And in the events category, the backdrop has a when stage clicked block, which is very similar to the when this sprite clicked block, which we can put on top. And now you can change the design of the background. 
And for the last step, I want to show you how to fix a bug that might happen. So if you notice this happening where you're trying to drag an object, but when you drag it, it does the action of when this sprite clicked. This is actually because of a bug in Scratch itself, but I'll show you how to get around it. So what you can do is say when this sprite clicked, wait 0.2 seconds, and then if not mouse down, so if the player is not still holding down the mouse, then turn 15 degrees. Basically, the rug is waiting to see if the player clicked a short click or is holding down for a long click, basically a drag. So now it will only turn when I click on it. And if I drag, it will not turn. It understands that I'm dragging. So that's a little trick to get around that. Anyway, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you today. The code for this project will be in the description below, so you can always remix that. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. And scratch on!